Welcome to the tutorial importing from Adobe Flash. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up your file structure in your SWF file so that you can import it into Animate Pro and then incorporate it into your Animate Pro animation. So let's begin in Flash. So I've created this scene which is um, our little karate rabbit character doing some moves along this roof and each of these objects that you see behind um, are also an individual layer. So the roof, the branches, the blossoms, the pagoda. I can turn them on and off so you can see them. And I'll show you a preview of what the animation looks like. So I believe in Windows it's Control Enter to test your movie. On Mac it's Command Enter. So that's what our movie looks like. But Animate Pro does not support the actual FLA file, so you have to render an SWF in order to import it into the library. So let's do that by going to File, Export, Movie. And you can browse on your computer to where you'd like to save it and rename it if you'd like. In this version I'm using Flash CS5, but I know when I use CS3 or CS4 and I click on the save button after choosing a, a location where to save my file, I usually get a dialog box that gives me some options for my SWF export. If you're using Animate, so not Animate Pro, but Animate, it's very important that you select Flash Player 7 from the version field. Otherwise, when you try to import your SWF into Animate, it will not import properly. So now let's go to Animate Pro. And from here, you have to go to the library. And if it's not already locked, like if your library looks like this, the little lock on the folder, you have to right click on the library folder and say write to modify. So now you're able to import in um, different templates and files. So there are two ways that you can bring in your SWF. You can either right click again on the Animate Pro library folder and select the menu item import files or with this folder still selected in the library you can go to the file menu here at the top and say import SWF illustrator files to library. Then you can browse for your file and it happened to open it in the correct folder and I'm going to choose Karate Rabbit SWF and say open. And then you have the opportunity to rename your TPL so the file is going to be chain converted into a template or you can leave it as the original file name which I'm going to do and then say OK. So now you can drag your Karate Rabbit uh, template from the library and either drop it into the camera view or the left side of the timeline. So I'll drop it in the camera view here. Then the color recovery um, window pops up and you definitely want to do the color recovery. So we say yes. And now all of your files have been brought in as individual layers that you can uh, turn on or turn off. The rabbit that's cut out to different parts, you can even like uh, unclick and click. You can see that he's broken down in different parts and that the entire background scene is also divided into different layers. And all the keyframes have been retained from the original animation. And this is great because then you can now add camera movements and other things that you can't do in Flash um, with the original animation still in text. You also have your recovered palette. It's the Kar Karate Rabbit Rec for recovered. And you can click on any of these swatches and then manipulate them. Um, even though they were created in Flash, they're still linked to the these individual drawn items now that you've brought them in. Um, to animate. So that's a really fun thing that you can do and you don't have to recolor or anything. Everything's still completely linked. Um, the last thing that I want to show you to make sure that you're aware of is all of these items are brought in on something called your global flash peg. And it's very important not to delete this. Um, pegs are a concept that a lot of flash users are not familiar with. Um, so it's something that I'm not going to go into detail here, but all of these 
are hooked to pegs and it's very important you don't delete them because then you'll end up deleting the entire um, scene that you've brought in along with all the keyframed movements. So just leave them here even if you're not sure what they mean. Um, and if any of your layers actually came in improperly, sometimes certain layers are sandwiched together um, or flattened because of uh, to optimize as they're bring, being brought in. It's really, really easy to select um, two or three items on the same layer. And what you can do is you can go to the drawing menu and say distribute to layers and it'll, it'll distribute them to different layers um, so that you don't have to manually copy and paste. So that's a way to work around that in case you ran into that problem. So that's it for the tutorial um, importing from Adobe Flash. Stay tuned for the next tutorial importing QuickTime movies.